The U.S. dollar is trading higher against most major currencies. The euro slipped after the ECB extended QE until September of next year. Meanwhile, there are reports by U.S. publication Political that Janet Yellen is no longer in the race to serve a second term as Fed chair. Now, take a closer look at the ECB. The central bank set the eurozone on a path toward higher rates as its long economic crisis eases. The ECB held steady on the benchmark rate and kept the deposit facility and marginal lending rates unchanged. The central bank will be slashing the level of government bond purchases in half from 60 billion euros to 30 billion euros starting in January of 2018. And taking a look at U.S. data, weekly jobless claims rose by 10,000 to 233,000. The four-week average declined by 9,000. Separately, a preliminary trade deficit report for the U.S. for the latest month showed a 1.3% widening in goods. Also, the advanced report on retail inventories reflected a pullback of 1% in September. In New York morning trade, euro dollar is down half a percent at 1 and 17.45, sterling dollar off 0.4% at 1 and 32.08. Meanwhile, dollar yen is higher by just 0.1% at 113.85. The Aussie against the U.S. currency is the currency pair in focus. Now, that pair is capped by a negative trend line. And short positions below 0.7730 are preferred with targets standing at 0.7675 and 0.7655 in extension. Looking at precious metals, they are mixed as the U.S. dollar gains. Spot gold is down a quarter of a percent at 1275.70, near its lowest levels in about three weeks. Trading central analysts state that gold has broken above a declining trend line and overall remains on the upside. Meanwhile, silver prices are flat at 16 bucks and 92 cents per troy ounce. And that does wrap it up for your morning report. I'm Remy Blair reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure to follow Trading Central on Twitter. Have a great day.